Hi, I'm Greg. And I'm David, and we're with Multidynamics, and these are the four things you need to know about the new ANSI standard for self-retracting devices. Number one, what is changing? In June of 2021, the ANSI's D359.14-2021 self-retracting device standard was released. This, the release date was later amended to August of 2023. It's important to know who ANSI is and what role they play in self-retracting lifelines. ANSI is the American National Standards Institute, and in the fall protection committees, it's made up of users of the products, it's made up of engineers, and it's made up of manufacturers who all have a vested interest in advancing the state of safety, especially in fall protection. Malta Dynamics is happy to be a part of that group and a voting member of the ANSI fall protection committees. It's important to note that OSHA is the law, ANSI is a voluntary standards committee. So these are voluntary standards that manufacturers choose to design and test their equipment to, and OSHA is the law of the land, so they can cite you, fine you for not meeting their requirements, but not necessarily the ANSI requirements. And sometimes OSHA adopts ANSI things as law, sometimes they don't. It's very important to know where your location stands it's good to consult your safety manager. And if you're not sure, talk to your consultative wing of OSHA in your area. First, the testing parameters for all self-retracting lifelines have changed. The dynamic and static loads have increased as well as the testing weight, which improves the safety factor for every user of every lifeline after this standard. The two main high level changes are coming from the dynamic drop test weight, it's increasing from 282 pounds to 310 pounds. The 310 pounds is the maximum ANSI capacity, so now we're increasing the safety factors there, as well as the static strength test increased from 3,000 pounds to 3,600 pounds. So again, we are increasing the safety factors on these self-retracting devices. Second, the classification and the types of the lifelines have changed wording. So what we're used to seeing is a class A self-retracting lifeline, a class B, a class LE. Those are all changing. They're moving to the new SRL types are SRL, SRLP for personal, SRLR for rescue devices. The classification changes are class one and class two, where we see class A, class B, and class LE now removed. Class 1 now replaces all Class A and all Class B lifelines. These are your overhead only lifelines and the language is now at or above your D-ring. Class 2 is formerly leading edge. That's for anchorage above or below your D-ring. The prior classes showed a Class A of a 24 inch arresting distance and a maximum arresting force of 1,350 pounds. Class B, a 54 inch arresting distance with 900 pounds arresting force or less. The arresting forces and the arresting distance are now clearly labeled on the self-retracting devices. The standard outlines maximum average arresting forces of 1,350 pounds and an arresting distance of 42 inches. However, now manufacturers are able to list specifically per their testing data. So if your device test is at 18 inches across all your testing parameters, now you can label that directly on your manual, your label, and all your requirements. Something to note that the maximum arresting distance now allowed by the standard across all classes is a foot shorter than the previous Class B. Next is labels and markings. So with the new self-retracting lifeline standard, there's now gonna be standard icons for Class 1 and Class 2 devices that are gonna be clearly marked on the device's labels. So these are gonna be the same across all manufacturers per the standard. Also, on the Class 2 devices, they're gonna have a fall clearance chart, typically gonna be added to the shock pack and your labeling near your shock pack. So that's going to have your fall clearance requirements for those below D-ring tie-off applications. Lastly, a warning card will be included with all Class 2 self-retracting devices asking the user to tie off overhead when at all possible and only use below D-ring anchorages when it's the only option. Number two, what is the effectivity date? 
As of August of 2023, manufacturers that are wanting to design and engineer to the DOT 14 standard must adhere to the design requirements put forth in this standard. Number three, what do I do with my existing devices? It's important to know that up until August, manufacturers can manufacture lifelines to the 2014 ANSI standard and every single lifeline that you have in your stock and on dealer shelves doesn't have to be thrown away. As long as these devices pass the pre-use inspection, annual competent person inspection, and are used per the user guidelines in the user's manual, these can be kept in service indefinitely. It's important to know that ANSI is separate from OSHA. OSHA at this time doesn't call out an ANSI standard in providing safe anchorage for your workers. So if your 2014 standard self-retracting lifeline can satisfy OSHA requirements for your job site, they're absolutely okay to keep in circulation. Number four, how do I plan for this change? First, you want to contact your fall protection manufacturer or dealer to see what devices they may have that are going to meet this new standard requirement. Most manufacturers and dealers are going to have a rolling change. So as they replenish their stock, they're going to be manufacturing this newer standard. It's also important that your required fall plans are updated according to this standard as well. And your language may be broad enough to include this new standard, but it might not be. So it's also very important that if you have your classes and your arresting forces documented, that you update that along with your rolling change as you move to the new standard stock. So those are the highlights of the ANSI Z359.14-2021 self-retracting lifeline standard change. We only touched on the high points. So if you would like more specific direction, or you want us to sit down and help you correct your fall plan and make a plan for rolling these new self-retracting lifelines into your fleet, we're more than happy to do that. You can also purchase this ANSI standard for yourself from ANSI on their website.